other as well as beneficiaries. Uh, so, as the minister concerned with this uh, program, can you share some more details? Yeah, practically, the prime minister's vision is that the poor people get these medicines, generic medicines, quality medicine with the affordable prices. About uh, uh, two or three years back, there was a survey by NSSO. The NSSO came out with a very strange report because more than more than uh, 55 million people they are suffering because of the their income is more spent for only for these medicines. About 30 million people they used to go below the poverty line because of this health care system. So Prime Minister thought that this is the one of the major issues that need to be taken care of. For that reason, he started this Janavshidi Kendras. The medicines are available uh, at a very cheap uh, uh, cost. That is right from 50% to 90%. Certain medicines are uh, available for uh, uh, very cheap. That is 90% cheaper than the branded items. So uh, we wanted to have these facilities to the people across the country in every remote corner of the uh, country. So initially it was started in 2018. That year it was about 86 uh, shops were opened. Later on in 2014, when Modi took over the charge as the Prime Minister of the country, he gave a very big boost to this. Now about 6,200 outlets, the shops are there across the country. Out of 729 districts, we have covered 700 districts now. And by March 2020, we are going to cover the remaining districts also. Mm -hmm. Not only the people across the country are receiving these medicines with the very cheap rate, even other facilities also are also made available. Even employment generation, more than 14,000 uh, youths, uh, especially certain uh, um, shops are being run by our uh, sisters uh, in various corners of the country. Tomorrow in Varanasi, uh, Prime Minister is going to interact with a uh, shop owner. She is a uh, lady. Mm -hmm. And uh, practically this has given such a... Now it, has, it is called the Pradhan Mantri Ka Dukan. Pradhan Mantri Ka Dukan. And uh, even um, the medicine is called Modicine. Uh, this type of uh, appreciation is there from the people across the country. That by 2025, we should have at least 10,000 shops across the country. Now, we have uh, planned to have warehouses in various corners so that uh, uh, the supply of the medicine, supply chain should be easier for the um, uh, per, uh, persons who are running the shop and all that. So we have got um, um, warehouses in various parts of the country. Today, there is a heavy demand. Of course, in certain occasions what happens, we are floating tenders to get the medicines. Mm -hmm. uh, out of nearly 900 medicines has been brought under this uh, basket. Uh, even nearly 60 medicines um, um, relating to cancer, that is uh, recently, that is one of the major challenges for the country. Yes. That also has been brought in. Medicines worth about 12,000 rupees, now they are getting for 3,000, 2,800 rupees and all that. So, as you rightly said, of course, demand is growing like anything. We are also trying our level best, but the Bharatiya Janavashri Pariyojana, uh, that is, uh, uh, that unit is taking care of all these things. We are getting uh, sufficient medicines at present, but demands are still more. Uh, needing those medicines for a substantial mm -hmm. amount of time. So, the, how does the government uh, make sure that those critical drugs are available in these uh, Jan Aushadi Kedras? The medicines are identified by the health department. They say that these are the uh, medicines which are la uh, really um, are in uh, great necessity by the people across the country. These are the diseases which are in uh, viral in nature. So we have to come down. So they are giving the list. We are floating tenders. 
we are floating tenders. Of course, I do concede that out of 900 uh, items in the basket, about uh, 100 items even uh, we could not able to procure. We, we could not able to procure. But still, uh, it's a tender is a continuous process. We are working on it. But the other uh, medicines which are available, we are continuously we are taking care of the medicines and the uh, sufficient medicines are provided across the country. Sir, so you talked about aspect because the government helps people who wants to set up these uh, Jan Aushadhi Kendras. Can you share some details? How does the government actually help in terms of providing seed capital or subsidy? Sir, uh, we are providing uh, their financial assistance also for them. Especially uh, the persons belonging to scheduled cards and scheduled tribes. We are giving them a financial support of about 2.5 lakh rupees. Even medicines are all provided for them and later on the money will be recovered from them. Even the youngsters who have completed their courses in uh, uh, running the uh, shops and all that, they will be given mudra loans. We are assisting them in uh, getting that loans also from the banks. So totally a man without sufficient funds with him also can start an outlet in some places. And even our own officers who are assisting them to get the certificate and other licenses from the government also. So totally uh, the network is so good. Of course there may be one or two or five or percent complaints here and there. Mm -hmm. Ninety-five percent of the outlets are so properly equipped and they have been given support by the government so that they are running the show to the expectations of the people. A uh, regular monitoring mechanism. Yes. Uh, to make, because you know these are uh, after all these are uh, outlets that represent the government's uh, policy of providing affordable and cheap medicines. So uh, it needs to be reg not only regulated in terms of prices but also perhaps uh, quality that uh, good quality medicines Sir, are Sir, all the medicines which are coming out that will be tested in the laboratory. Then only it will go to the shops for sale. Unless and until it is tested, it will not go out. Almost there is no complaints so far as far as the quality of the medicines. There is no compromise as far as the quality is concerned. Even uh, this is being regulated and even that is being verified by the um, officers pertaining to drugs department, they are also verifying here and there. So we are getting the medicines only after proper um, uh, examination in the laboratories and then only it will go to the shops. Till right. then we will not. And uh, time and again, as you rightly said, not only regulating but monitoring is another important. Now we are supplying the medicines online that we have uh, got a portal. Apart from that, we have got a small app. Anybody can go to any place and if you want to see whether the shops are available in and around, it will be traced by that app. Right. Even what are the medicines available in that shop, that is also. Even you can compare the rates with the branded items, that is also there. A beautiful app has been prepared by us so that the people can easily identify the place of the shop as well as the medicines available in there. That is the other area. So we want to make each and every person uh, to have ease, ease uh, uh, he should be accessible to all the benefits that accrues out of this. Uh, uh, has, has your mom, uh, yes, we are monitoring? monitoring uh, we have got a separate wing in our pharmaceutical department. Right. They are regularly, regularly monitoring all these things, whether the supply is correct or not. Is there any complaint about the quality and other things? Whether the shops are being run properly or not? These are the areas that we are taking care of. The Prime Minister is once in two, three months. He used to um, interact with the officers and he used to get a report. He is very particular as far as this area is concerned. One more issue I can bring it to your notice that uh, uh, as far as uh, 
uh, our sisters uh, are concerned the sanitary napkins sanitary napkins is one of the important area yes because of the hygienic napkins is the need of the other so we started to uh, provide sanitary napkins at uh, uh, rupees 2 rupees 50 paisa for, for pad later on prime minister thought that it should be made available easily to the poor people also so since last one year last year you know during 2019 elections um, in our manifesto we said that we are going to provide napkins uh, with 1 uh, rupee per pad so within 100 days we took up that target now we are providing sanitary napkins uh, for the hygienic purposes for our sisters at rupees 1 nearly 2.5 crore uh, sanitary napkins are already sold there is heavy demand it's not only for poor even all the other people also middle class and they are also going for this this is one of the important areas that we have uh, taken care of right so of a you know global outbreak of the corona virus and even in parliament there was a discussion uh, that the government has done a uh, commendable work in terms of uh, trying to contain its spread in india one suggestion that came out in parliament during the discussion was uh, that government should provide more of sanitizers and antiseptics and keep adequate stocks of paracetamol especially in rural areas so uh, has your ministry actually uh, given its focus uh, on these issues immediately when uh, the corona virus Uh, which was affected in the areas of uh, uh, china and there was rumors that uh, uh, the persons who have traveled to china or some other countries they used to carry this virus to other areas also prime minister took a meeting even in the cabinet meeting he said that immediately uh, the health department the pharmaceutical department should take care of these things our pharmaceutical departments immediately took stock of the things one uh, thing that uh, we need to take care is the api the basic materials for uh, manufacturing of this medicine and all that we are 99 95% we are dependent upon china yes so uh, immediately we were uh, asked to take stock of that we took stock of it there is no problem for another 3 months and the 3 months we have got sufficient stock of uh, api with us production is going on as usual this is the raw material to produce yes, medicines yes that is the raw material for produce uh, medicines we are producing we are the biggest producers but unfortunately we have to get the raw materials from outside now prime minister said that we should have uh, we should immediately start planning for to have api in our own country that uh, we are planning that is separate mm. as far as uh, uh, um, uh, this medicines are concerned even mass and other uh, yeah. antiseptic and other things are concerned practically there is no scarcity only few people here and that they used to say that no that it is not available it is not practically sufficient materials including medicines are available in our country uh, there would be no scarcity at all and it is learned that even in china also except two districts in other areas now they have started uh, manufacturing all these things so Uh, the availability of the medicines and other things that are practically known right okay. uh so uh, prime minister of course has already announced that he would uh, dedicate his social media handle to women who inspire uh i was wondering if your ministry also had a focus in terms of you know promoting women entrepreneurship vis-a-vis prime uh, <coughs> pradhan mantri jan aushadhi kendra say everywhere everywhere whenever a woman comes forward to have a janoshidi center we are giving them all supports and we are telling our departmental people also officers also to give priority for them this is happening nowadays they are coming in large number and they are doing extremely good uh, service uh, even better than the people uh, a man Uh, they are giving good service also uh, uh, now according to uh, the vision of the prime minister 
the not only the sanitary napkins and other things should be provided to the uh, women even shops more shops should be run by them then they will be able to reach out to the people properly so we are also working on those lines for one officer uh, she is a lady she is now uh, just uh, telling to the people there and she is inviting lady entrepreneurs to start the uh, these outlets so these are the areas where we could able to focus more mentioned that you started uh, from a very modest scale and you've now gone up uh, to 6200 outlets yes. uh, so w when do you think you will achieve that target of 10000 outlets because that is an issue i mean as jan aushadi kendras become more and more popular people would perhaps want uh, you know a higher density of the sure shop. we have written to all the state governments all the government hospitals should have one counter of generic medicine we have uh, writing continuously we are writing letters to all the local bodies to see that the doctors in and around they should be motivated that they should write Express prescription uh, uh, write uh, the prescription mm -hmm. for generic medicine and we are creating awareness by doing several activities by advertisements and then other things so that the people will able to know this generic medicine so mom this has given much importance as per the direction of the honorable prime minister since last one week we started from first to uh, till tomorrow tomorrow the prime minister is going to interact uh, uh, about uh, seven entrepreneurs uh, right from uh, uh, tamil nadu up to pulwama pulwama is also going i am going to varanasi tomorrow right. i will be there in varanasi uh, even assam one place has been identified right. so every area he is going to interact he will interact and he want to know is there if there is any gap if there is any confusion if there is anything that need to be rectified that also need to be taken care of tomorrow's our uh, intention is to see that the people should come out and they should speak yes these are the pros these are the cons these are the consequences these are the things that need to be done so that generic medicine what the uh, nss was said 55 million people are going below poverty line because of this healthcare concerns that we should have uh, we have taken in a war footing and we hope that we will succeed, succeed in this